Hi everyone, join me today as I show you how I create a full decor on the front porch using chicken wire and branches from the yard. So stay tuned for that. Hey everybody, thanks so much for stopping by another episode of Life with Marion and Joe. And today is another episode in my fall 2023 decor series. I think this is it because I did the home tour already and I'm just showing you a little bit about what I did outside. Right, Marianne? Yep. Hi, everybody. <laughs> and it's Marianne beautiful. is sitting right there. Uh, so um, I don't do a lot of stuff outside. I don't go crazy out there because I really don't like doing outside. Um, it's always a challenge for me, so I really, I kind of shy away from it. But I did have an idea this year to do something a little bit different around the door. And what I did was I used branches from the yard, some um, leaves on vines that are from the Dollar Tree that we've had a while already. And um, did I say chicken wire already? I did say chicken wire. Okay, oh, and branches from the yard. So I'm getting a little it's confused. Yeah, like, I don't know if you just heard Marianne, it's an asymmetrical design and it is pretty and it's very full looking and I really like it. Um, and what's funny today is I just, I didn't put any real pumpkins out there yet. I might be doing that, but I have some styrofoam pumpkins out there. And as I'm pulling out of the driveway, I see a squirrel smelling them all. He's looking already to eat them. He, if I don't know, you probably don't know, like last year he ate all my pumpkins. And I, we, if that's this, I don't know if the same one, but he was. Yeah, a, a, a yeah. he ate like, I think, five of ours and three of my sister-in-law's and not for anything, but they're not cheap. Uh, wait, so, he must have remembered that he had pumpkins here. Yeah, so he came right away as soon as he saw them. So, But I didn't take out my phone and start videoing him anyway. I, I thought he was going to start destroying, but he didn't. But anyway, so I hope you enjoy this little video on how I did what I did and let me know. Please subscribe, it's free, and you don't want to be missing any Christmas stuff. Drop me a comment. Believe it or not, it helps with my videos in the algorithm so that it can get out there so more people can see. And a thumbs up, as always, really helps. It doesn't hurt to really press that thumbs up. You know how hard I work. Okay, everybody, so sit back, and I hope you enjoy this video. Alrighty, so we're going to start our full porch design here. I'm going to put garland on this railing and then I'm going to add leaves to it so it doesn't look like garland, but when I take the leaves off, the garland is there for Christmas. Alright, so there's the garland on the railing. So I incorporated the white lights because I want it to co um, coordinate with the white lights that I have in the bay window. Uh, but I'm going to now add in amber lights. And oh, they're called gold, but they're amber. Now, why do I choose amber? Because I think they look more like fall. I know a lot of people use orange, but that looks more like Halloween to me. So I use the amber light to give a softer glow. So I'm going to put 100 on each side. I need to add something to that. I put the leaves on, but I need to add something. So I stopped at the Dollar Tree. They had absolutely nothing i went to one and it was closed i don't know why didn't say it just said temporarily closed so i went to another one and like this was it this is all they had so i got this it's a start anyway and i'm trying to bolt that up i made two piles so that's it for now i have to go searching i guess i want it to be a little bit fuller but let me put this in so I decided to add in some styrofoam pumpkins. I have some ribbon left over, and I also have some ornaments that I had painted orange and beige. So I'm gonna incorporate those. I started with this down here. I'm, I don't have that much stuff, and I really don't wanna go out and get it. And what I did was, these are styrofoam, so I just stuck the, the, you know, the garland branch up into it, hoping it's gonna hold. I'm gonna to try to build out the ends like I would do inside. So far I added a pick and another pick. I put this ribbon in and I paired it with this right here, just sticking it on the side. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add some of these ornaments that I spray painted um, orange and beige. I went to Home Depot and I bought a roll of chicken wire. It was um, about $19. And I'm cutting it into manageable pieces. I cut two, I cut a four foot piece and then I cut that four foot piece in half. 
and now I'm going to start placing it on the door. All right, now to put the chicken wire up, what I did was I have nails in, in the side of this right here, and I actually wired, as you can see right here, I wired the chicken wire to the nail, and then I bent it around this edge right here, and I just slipped in some nails along this edge right here just to hold it in place. And then I did the same thing up there. Now when you're working with chicken wire, you need to wear gloves and you need to have a good tool to cut it. And I mean, it's not overly difficult, but you know, it has a mind of its own. So just be aware of that if you're gonna use it, but it's a good cheap alternative to, you know, using uh, as a base for things. All right, so you can see I started putting the branches in here and I came up and I keep, what I keep doing is I put them through the chicken wire and I also wire it to chicken wire. If I did it in this application inside, I wouldn't necessarily have to do it as much, but I'm a little bit nervous out here with the wind and we're supposed to have a windy, rainy day tomorrow, so we'll see how it holds up. But you see what I did is I came only halfway across the door, so I'm gonna, you know, I'm doing this asymmetrical look over here. I'm big on this asymmetrical look for the my fall decor this year. I strung amber lights through these branches. I started down there, that's where the plug's gonna be, obviously. And then I just went up through all of the branches. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some leaves on here. These are actually leaves on vines. All right, so I took those leaves and I wrapped them throughout here. Let me back up so you can see that. Right, so that's how that looks. Gentle, it's not like cuckoo crazy, but I kind of like it. It's different for me anyway. Okay, moving on. I'm gonna use this wreath again. Marianne is not crazy about it, and um, I do have to spruce it up. It looks a little flat, <laughs> but um, I have to fix it a little bit. But um, I put it here for now anyway. So what it is, is it's actually, two uh, candy cane forms from the Dollar Tree, one up this way and then one down this way. And the reason I did that is because the door is elongated, the glass, so I wanted it to fill it a little bit more, but I need a little bit, I need to adjust it. So next time you see it, hopefully it'll be a little bit adjusted. Thanks everyone for stopping by today. Hope you all are doing well and I'll be seeing you really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.